Can you believe this, Commander? It's my baby! Better than new! It fits me like a glove! And leather seats! Military may set the hardware standard, but on a first-gen frigate, they could care less if the seats breathe. Civilian sector comfort by design. The reproduction is not intended to be perfect, Mr. Moreau. Seamless improvements were made. And there's the downside. I liked the Normandy when she was beautiful and quiet. Now she's got this thing I don't want to talk about. It's like ship cancer. I don't trust them. We still need to move ahead, but it's all too convenient. Maybe you're right. I guess it's hard to argue when they install an AI to spy on us. We're staying though, right? I mean, this seat is real leather. Good to see you're keeping it all in perspective, Joker. Uh, leather? Yes, Shepard. I want to know more about you. Do you have a specific inquiry? Why are you named Edie? Edie is the phonetic pronunciation of E-D-I. That is an acronym for Enhanced Defense Intelligence. Where are you? My core intelligence is housed in a quantum blue box located behind the medical bay. What do you do aboard the ship? I operate the ship's electronic and cyber warfare suites in combat. My reaction time is much faster than any organic. I collate the records of shipboard monitoring devices for the elusive man. I serve additional functions which are restricted at this time. Cyber warfare means things like viruses, right? In close-range ship-to-ship combat, I can sometimes break through the firewalls of an enemy's internal wireless network. Once I seize control of their systems, I can turn off gravity or air. I can disable weapons guidance or shields, or I can put their fusion plant in meltdown. On the defense, I manage Normandy's own suite of jammers, decoys, and internal firewalls. Sounds incredibly useful. Why isn't there someone like that on every warship? An organic operator cannot react quickly enough to changing circumstances or perform the necessary multitasking. This is a role that can only be filled by an artificial intelligence. Unfortunately, we are suspect. Well, it might have something to do with how an AI almost destroyed galactic civilization, just putting it out there. The elusive man has monitoring devices on board? He has invested most of Cerberus's resources into the design and construction of this ship. He has an interest in monitoring our progress. Restricted functions? Like what? I do not know. Some of my databases are sealed, some of my hardware is kept offline. I assume that when certain unknown conditions are met, those functions will be released to me. That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. I'm Yeoman Kelly Chambers. I've been assigned as your administrative assistant. I'll manage your messages and help you monitor the crew. And I must say, it's such an honor to work under you, Commander Shepard. I'm glad to have you on the team, Miss Chambers. Please, call me Kelly. Okay, Kelly. Anything else? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. What are your responsibilities? I'll keep you notified of any messages or appointments you might have. If any of the crew has important business to discuss, I'll make sure you know. Isn't that the type of task better suited for a VI? Yes, but being your yeoman is just my official role. Unofficially, I observe the crew. Everyone knows how risky our mission is. Many of us may not be coming back. That's a lot of pressure. I have a degree in psychology. I'm good at sensing when people are overly taxed. You make sure the crew's mental health is sound. Yes. I look for warning signs. I listen. It's not a full-time job, and it's most effective when done informally. We're lucky to have someone with your skills, Kelly. Thank you, Shepard. What else would you like to know? This organization has a dark reputation. Do you have any concerns working for them? Not at all. Our methods can be harsh, but Cerberus has noble objectives. We look out for human interests. Advance human technology, save human lives. They're good goals. It sounds like Cerberus wants to dominate all aliens and put humankind on top. Cerberus looks out for humanity, but that doesn't mean we hate aliens. My sister started a dog shelter, but she loved cats too. I love humanity. 
I also love Asari, Quarian, Turian, Salarian, Hanar. That isn't in conflict with Cerberus ideals. That's a very positive attitude. What can I say? I'm a people person. Anything else you'd like to talk about? How do you feel about being assigned to the Normandy? I was handpicked by the Elusive Man to help fight the greatest threat known to humanity. How do I feel? Honored, exhilarated, terrified. But mostly I feel encouraged. Under your leadership, we can't fail. Don't worry. We'll defeat the Collectors. I trust you implicitly. The moment I met you, I knew I could close my eyes, fall back, and you'd be there. I might do more than catch you, Kelly. Now that's an enticing thought. Anything else you'd like to talk about? I better go. Okay. Maybe we'll talk later. Just going around and talk to everybody that I can. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Just go around and talk to everyone that I can. And then all at night it was fucking late for me. But you was like but in the afternoon, sometime after the three million. Hey, if you're watching this when launch. Hey, if you're watching this when launch. Launch. Chef surprise when again. Come on, Rupert. I'm sorry, delivery. Princess. Oh, okay, no, Filet mignon and caviar coming right up. Let me just get out my doilies. That'd be real nice, Mr. Gardner. Chakras? Commander Shepard, I watched the Normandy crumble with you on board. It's good to see you alive. I'm shocked. You're serving on a Cerberus vessel now? Surprising, even to me. Yet, here I am. The kind of trauma you endured would have changed most people. But not you, I see. Welcome back, Shepard. Do you have everything you need? I believe so. This medical bay seems very much like the sick bay on the original Normandy. Only thing missing are my private reserves. I even had a bottle of Ceres ice brandy that I was saving for a special occasion. I'll keep an eye out for a replacement bottle. Oh, you needn't. It's expensive, and we have much larger concerns ahead. Doctor, you've been with the Alliance for years. Why leave now? After the Normandy was lost, the surviving crew was reassigned. I was stationed at the Mars Naval Medical Center, a very respectable position, but it wasn't on a starship. Colonial military life isn't for you? I've spent most of my life on warships, never knowing what the next mission might bring. I'm used to the hum of engines, the creaking of bulkheads, that subtle vertigo when the momentum dampeners kick in. Life planet side is just too static, too boring. You're not the Cerberus type, Doctor. I don't work for Cerberus. I work for you. On a mission that may be crucial to the survival of the human race. I have faith that your dealings with Cerberus will be ethical. I trust you, Commander. There's a very good chance this mission will be a one-way trip. Are you prepared for that? I've been through the reclaiming of Shanxi, the Skellian Blitz. We survived the Battle of the Citadel and the destruction of the Normandy together. I've lived a full life. No regrets. I'd like to make sure the crew gets the same opportunity. I'll see you later, Doctor. Commander. Was it just there staring in? Fucking hell. 
pop the lurk and don't make no sense. I'm just full on committed. Commander Shepard, the hero of the Citadel, you did humanity proud that day. Miss Sergeant Rupert Gardner here. How can I be of service? Do you have everything you need? I make do. But have you ever tried to prepare a decent meal with military provisions? I'm good, but I'm no miracle worker. Taking down the collectors is going to be rough on his business. The crew deserves a few fine meals before they throw themselves into the fire. What do you need? If I had some quality ingredients, oh shit. You just got to worry about the grocery shop out of the Citadel. Forget I mentioned it. I had that way way up in my eye out. But for she did. The most SLS is probably standard fare for the Nambies on the Citadel. Anything else you'd like to talk about? Now we did. I won't take any more of your time. Back to work. I'll get back tomorrow. She's a cutie. How old? Ah, uh, she'll be a year old next month. Oh, you'll miss her first birthday. Well, my family lives in New Canton. Oh, uh, that colony's on the edge of the frontier. Could be vulnerable to collector attack, couldn't it? Exactly. It's most important that she have a first birthday. That's why I'm here. Shepard, the women's restroom is on the starboard side of the ship. <laughs> You can get no fucking privacy up on this bitch, dog. You walk in, you see whoever shit. You can't use this toilet. You just can't. Everybody going in the crew quarters can see. You gotta huddle up here. But then whoever going in life support, you making full on eye contact with that nigga. Alright. Then shower. Jesus, shower. Boy, you showering and putting on a fucking show for whoever going in crew quarters? Are there supposed to be curtains? I'm not seeing no fucking thing for curtains. I'm not seeing anything to clasp up this room. No. You know what I'm saying? It's a fucking privacy. came all the way down here to see us? You're speaking to our commanding officer. I'm touring the ship, getting to know my crew. I'm Engineer Ken Donnelly, handling the power control systems. This is Gabby. That's Engineer Gabriella Daniels, actually. I'm responsible for the propulsion systems. What can we do for you, Commander? Are you set up okay down here? We can't complain. I just wish it didn't take so long to calibrate the FBA arrays, the- Kenneth, you're complaining. What kind of problems are you having? When they upgraded the Normandy design, they got a bit sloppy with the FBA couplings. I won't bore you with the tech, but there's an array of attenuators in the primary power transfer system that channels the field bleed. Kenneth, you're boring the commander with tech. In short, if we had T6 FBA couplings installed, it'd save us a lot of maintenance time each day. Why isn't something like that already installed? It's probably just a design oversight. Efficiency isn't affected, it's a maintenance issue. Also, the T6 model can be hard to find. Nash and Stellar Dynamics discontinued them. We could probably find used ones in the Omega markets, but we have no time for shore leave. Where'd you receive your training? Both Gabby and I started in the Alliance, serving on the SSV Perugia. She flew in the first wave at the Battle of the Citadel. We saw Sovereign firsthand. Why did you leave the Perugia? After you died, Anderson lost political clout. The Council backslid on the Reaper menace. They discounted Sovereign as an isolated threat, as a single... Which was bullshit. They said your warnings of a greater danger were mistaken or delusional. We lost respect for Alliance leadership. We need to fight the real enemy, and only Cerberus seemed to be doing that. 
How did you wind up with Cerberus, Ken? Once you were gone, the Alliance brass descended like vultures, tearing apart everything you'd said. I was very public with my defense for you. I didn't hold back. That's an understatement. If Kenneth wasn't such a talented engineer, they'd have court-martialed him for insubordination. But it got me noticed by the elusive man. He made an offer, and here I am. So why did you join, Gabby? Kenneth and I have been partners in crime since we graduated from Tech Academy. When he got the Cerberus offer, I insisted that it include me. He'd fall apart without me. Thanks, Mum. Also, I love engines, and the Normandy is state-of-the-art. When I got the opportunity to work on her, I had to jump. What do you think about Cerberus? Actually, we don't know much about the organization other than the Normandy team. We know our mission and who's in charge. We're off to kick the Collectors right in their daddy bags. That's enough for me. Carry on. Will do, Commander. I'm amazed Shepard came down to see us. I told you she would. Talk to Miranda. I'm gonna say this straight up. This is a Jacob Hayton channel. We don't fuck with Jacob. We don't ride with Jacob. Jacob's not an option for conversation. Jacob's not an option for being on the crew. Jacob is not an option for doing any loyalty mission. If you like Jacob, find another place to watch this shit. Because Jake, no, nothing involving Jacob is happening here. That's a water one. Commander, what can I do for you? What exactly are your duties aside from keeping an eye on me? I'm the elusive man's agent. You're his most important asset. My job is to make sure you succeed. Aside from that, I send regular reports to the elusive man, updating our status. Anything I should know regarding the Normandy? The crew's working well, and the ship appears to be performing to specifications. Do you have a minute, Miranda? No doubt you've got a lot of questions. Cerberus isn't as evil as most people believe. If I can help allay any of your concerns, I'd be happy to do so. So, what would you like to know? Are you military or political? Or both? Cerberus has several divisions. Political, military, scientific. But we're all working towards the same goal. The teams you encountered before your accident were mostly part of our military division. But not all Cerberus operations use the same protocols. We try not to get bogged down in bureaucracy or formality. I know what we're doing here, but what's Cerberus's long-term goal? The advancement of the human race. Nothing more, nothing less. The Salarians have the special tasks group. The Asari have their legendary commandos for stealth and recon operations. Cerberus is humanity's answer to those organizations. But those organizations are regulated by governments. Who keeps Cerberus in check? Nobody. We're privately funded and our backers trust the elusive man to make the right decisions. But he's very clear about our goals. Protect humanity and serve its advancement. Yep, yep, yep. What kind of resources does Cerberus have? We're very well funded, though I doubt anyone other than the elusive man knows exactly how well. But our resources aren't unlimited. Reviving you and rebuilding the Normandy was a significant investment. And a significant risk. We're all hoping you can do the impossible, Shepard. No pressure. Yeah, not so what can you tell me about the elusive man? Not much that you don't already know. Even I don't have access to most of his background. And you've seen more of him than most ever do. It's rare for him to become directly involved in missions, but you're something special. Whatever else people might say about him, I can assure you he's got humanity's best interests at heart. That includes you and me. How can you be sure of that if you know so little about him? I didn't get to where I am without knowing how to gauge people's motives and ambitions. Even from brief encounters. He's no saint, and he'd be the first to admit it. But he is committed. Humanity couldn't have a better advocate. Tell me about yourself, Miranda. 
Oh, I guess that's fair. I've spent the last two years learning everything there is to know about you. Well, you should probably know that I've had extensive genetic modification. Not my decision, but I make the most of it. It's one of the reasons the elusive man handpicked me. I'm very good at just about anything I choose to do. What level of genetic modification are we talking about? That's very thorough. Physically, I'm superior in many ways. I heal quickly and I'll likely live half again as long as the average human. My biotic abilities are also very advanced. For a human. Add to that some of the best training and education money can buy and... Well, it's pretty impressive, really. It sounds like you were designed to be perfect. Maybe. But I'm not. I'm still human, Shepard. I make mistakes like everyone else. And when I do, the consequences are severe. Everyone expects a lot from someone with my... abilities. You certainly don't lack for confidence. It's just a fact. My reflexes, my strength, even my looks, they're all designed to give me an edge. No point in hiding from it. It's the reason I'm trusted to oversee the most dangerous, risky, and technically demanding operations Cerberus undertakes. And it's why I was assigned to you. It's my job to make sure you succeed, Shepard. Thanks for the information, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander. Whatever you need. He's not a complete bitch. I like a brat. To go check out my bed, and then we'll go off and do the first fucking mission tomorrow. So I'm not doing this. The veteran. Welcome to Omega. You're new here, aren't you? I can always tell. Allow me to... Oh, hello, Mocklin. I was just... Leave, Fargot. Now. Oh, of course, Mocklin. Whatever she wants. Blasted scavengers. Welcome to Omega, Shepard. You know who I am? Of course. We had you tagged the moment you entered the Terminus systems. You're not as subtle as you think. Aria wants to know what brings a dead specter to Omega. I suggest you go to Afterlife now and present yourself. I'll talk to your boss when I'm damn well ready. 
then you'd better get ready. No one keeps Arya waiting. Afterlife, now. I'm receiving quarantine warnings about the slums where Dr. Morton Solis runs the clinic. Anticipate resistance at the transport station. I have also accessed messages between mercenary groups regarding plans to deal with the Archangel. There's a recruiting station at Afterlife that may have information on him. Please, you have to help me. No one said you could talk, jackass. You Zaid Masani? Yeah, that's me. You must be Commander Shepard. Hey, we have a galaxy to save. I assume you've been briefed? I've done my homework. Cerberus sent me everything I needed to know. My contacts told me we're picking up one man, not two. Batarian delinquent. Pissed off someone rich enough to hire me to go after him. And for my bring him in alive rates, even. Please. I didn't do it. I said <laughs> shut it. Tried to lead me on a chase all over the systems. You should have known better. These people always run to Omega. What's your relationship with Cerberus? Easy. Cerberus is paying me a lot of money to help you on your mission. That's the long and short. Not many mercs would take a suicide mission for the pay. Most mercs don't get an offer like the one Cerberus sent me. This mission doesn't sound like good business, but your elusive man can move a lot of credits. Good to have you, Zaid. We have a lot to do. That's what they tell me. I assume the elusive man told you about our arrangement. I'm assuming there's some part of your contract that I'm expected to handle. That about right? Yeah. Funny he didn't tell you. Picked up a mission a little while back, just before I signed on with Cerberus. Thought you might be interested. You heard the name Vito Santiago? He's the head of the Blue Suns. Runs the whole organization. Seems he recently captured an Elfell Ashland refinery on Zoya and is using their workers for slave labor. The company wants it dealt with. I'll make sure we get that done. Good. Get it out of the way so we can concentrate on being big goddamn heroes. I better turn this thing in before it starts to stink. I'll be locked and loaded next time you're ready to get some killing done. That should, that should really be it, honestly. this at all. I hate the fact that everyone has like five spare. And it takes long to charge. It's annoying as fuck.
I might have something here for humans. Not much. He might snare a few tourists with these prices, but I'm not giving you a single credit. Sure, you can find things cheaper, if you're willing to risk the black market. Well, you and I could do business if you'd just charge what this crap is worth. Fine. I'll give you the uppity human discount. And that's all you're getting. Però è andata via questo. Non so come. This might be useful. I like how it's designed here. I didn't like how it Tentatively excited. Welcome, oh, human. Bad. What can I get for you? What kinds of things do you sell here? Friendly, salvaged parts. All kinds. Mostly legitimate. With pride, my prices are the lowest anywhere on the station. You won't find salvage cheaper than mine. I have things to do. Courteously, have a fine day. Take a look at my kiosk if you want to buy. Have been sent, but it is not clear whether there are survivors. The council offered its sympathy, but regretted that it could not become involved in a purely human matter. Explorer ships have reported seeing vessels of an unknown make, but whose silhouette strongly resembles ancient Rachni ship profiles. The few ships sighted have been small scouting vessels that rapidly retreated. The council has pledged a full investigation. Leave, human. Tell Captain Gabon we not kill anyone today. There seem to be a lot of Vorcha on Omega. No, not too many. You stay away. We kill you. I don't know a Captain Gabon. Why would I tell him anything? Go away. Talk too much. Gabon's box get no more. We leave. Good talking to you. No more talk. We know Gabon's tricks. We leave! Hello there. Might I interest you in some salvage tech? Every credit goes toward a ticket to get me off this forsaken rock. I buy a lot of parts and equipment. Maybe we can make an arrangement. Well, you seem like a decent person, but you can't breathe a word of it to Herod. Of course. Then we have a deal. Maybe I'll at least sell something to you. What brought a nice kid like you to Omega? My pilgrimage. What money I had got stolen within a few days, so I decided to sell salvage parts. You can see how that turned out. Herod's forcing me to sell high, and I can't even afford a ticket off this station. Why does Herrick control your prices? Herrick made me swear not to undercut him, no matter what. He was here first, so it's his right. But no one will buy from me when he's so much cheaper. I can't save enough money for a ticket off the station. How much do you need to get off Omega? I still need 1,000 credits to pay my way. But I couldn't let you do that. This is my mistake on my pilgrimage. It's my problem. I could go talk to Herod for you. Get him to ease up. I won't stop you. If you can convince him to lay off, then maybe I'll get off this station after all. His shop's up the ramp, near where Marsh sells his goods. Anything you can do will be much appreciated. I have to go. Please check with my kiosk to see what I have for sale. And thank you.
I'll take it. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm not talking hammer. Ah! I'm not changing my gun for the rest of the fucking day. I got it. Two years after a Geth attack nearly destroyed it, the colony of Zoo's Hope has announced plans for an expansion. Is that all this one? An independent inquiry has dismissed claims by one Corporal Toons about a shadowy organization known as Cerberus, a disturbed. Tentatively tombs. excited. Welcome, human. What can I get for you? Tell me about your deal with the Quarian over there. Suspicious. If I had made such a deal, I would certainly not be inclined to discuss it. Accusatory. I don't understand how it is any concern of yours. If you're worried about competition, why not just buy out his store? Intrigued. I had not considered that before. My fellow merchants on Omega are not known for being easy to shut down. A weak, homesick kid like that shouldn't be a problem for a man like you. Devilishly excited. I have plans to expand. On your advice, I will conquer the Quarian child. Grateful to thank you for your counsel. I offer you a discount at all of my stores. I have things to do. Courteously, have a fine day. Take a look at my key. The Chinese government is considering further reparations to humans whose ancestors died in the Relay 314 incident. The Turian government previously made reparations from what humans call the first contact war, but refused to pay interest. The Turian hierarchy has supported improved relations with humanity. Yeah. If she were expecting you to want it, I was expecting you. What are you looking at? The man whose day I'm about to ruin. Uh, uh, I'm not looking for trouble. Maybe I am. Maybe you better get out of here before I find you some. All right, all right. I, I've got stuff to do anyway. Come on, let's get out of here. Some friends got stupid one night. Long story short, tempers flared, followed by pistols. We all got out, said my buddy Narka. Places like this are slaughterhouses, dressed as nightclubs. I shit you not. Oh, control your tempers. Talk to Arya. 